going on in the broadband sector, Steph. Yes, morning to you both. This is news which is just out uh, at seven this morning through the broadband sector. Morning, everyone. Yeah, it's all about a bit of BT, which is called Openreach, and that uh, owns the fibre and copper wires that run from local telephone exchanges to homes and businesses. Now, rival providers of broadband, like TalkTalk Talk and Sky, have to pay BT to use these wires in order to offer their broadband services to customers. This morning, the regulator says BT will be required to open up its telegraph poles and underground tunnels that carry all these telecoms lines so that the other companies can build their own fibre networks connected directly to homes and offices. So this should uh, create major reform in the sector. I'm going to be talking to the Ofcom boss a bit later about this. A couple of other stories for you. Lloyds have just announced their latest results. Bank, the banking group says profits have fallen. They're down from £1.8 in 2014 to £1.6 in the year just gone. It says it's partly down to having to set aside more money for payment protection insurance, £2.1 billion to be exact. The bill for this scandal has now cost them more than £16 billion in total. And I'm going to talk pensions before I go, because thousands of workers who have been encouraged by the government to take out pension plans could be at risk of losing their savings. That's a warning from the industry regulator. It says it's down to fears that dozens of smaller companies who are being forced to provide pensions under the auto-enrolment scheme are using pension schemes that are too small to survive. And uh, that's the business news for you for now. It's a busy morning. Many thanks, Steph. It's 28 minutes past seven. We'll be back to see... Steph, you've been taking a look at this. Morning. Yes, morning to you both. This is all about trying to make broadband better so that there's better coverage across the UK and people get speeds and there are fewer faults. So um, the, the Ofcom, the regulator, has been looking at a bit of BT called Openreach. Now, that's the bit which basically runs all the copper wiring and, and network which allows people to actually get broadbands to their homes and businesses. Now, at the moment, rivals like Talk Talk and Sky and the like have to pay BT to use these lines in order to be able to offer their customers broadband. What the regulator is saying today is that that needs to be opened up. So the telegraph poles and what they call the ducts, so these underground tunnels, need to be opened up so that rivals can put in their own fibre networks to get broadband to businesses and homes. Um, and also on top of this, they're saying there should be more of an independent governance of open reach. So it's uh, not just all part of BT, but it's a kind of separate entity, not completely split from the company, but just changing the governments. And also uh, to do with faults on the if you if you have faults with broadbands, which the Ofcom regulator was saying happens quite a lot, mm. that there needs to be better compensation. You need to automatically be compensated rather than having the hassle of contacting your provider. And I spoke to Sharon White earlier, the chief executive of Ofcom, to ask her why this is so important. So good news for people uh, in terms of when it's going to happen. When I asked her that, she said it will, you know, start from April and looking at how they actually roll this out and make sure it happens as quickly as possible. For many, it can't be quick enough, can it? Mm, exactly. <laughs> Steph, many thanks.